now that we have uh, the basic restarting set up, uh, let's make it a little bit more interactive. Uh, so as you can see, I have the white rubber material selected here already, and it has been set up so that the color can be very easily changed uh, to a different shade. You simply need to set the color on the shader. Uh, so let's use this uh, to change the color of the paddle uh, when a hit occurs. Uh, to do this, uh, we're going to need to go back to the script. We can just update the existing script. Now, for the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to uh, find the paddle. We're going to need to uh, remember what the uh, color state is. We're only going to have two states. You could, in theory, have more, uh, but we will just toggle between two states. And we will initialize them on start, similar to ball and previous face visible. So this will uh, get the pedal collider, and as you can see in the hierarchy, it is a child of root, pedal before a bakes, uh, pedal, and then the pedal collider. Now that we know what our objects are, we can uh, check for collisions. So we do have a callback function, which is called every time uh, two physics, physics bodies collide. Now we could technically just uh, change the color here, but uh, I will want to check if our objects are ball and pedal respectively, just in case in future you want to add more objects. It's good practice. <clears throat> so for that, let's write a function that will check that. So this function will check if uh, the first node detected in a collision is a ball and the second node is the pedal collider, then it will return true. Or if the first node is the pedal and the second is the ball, it will also return true. And this is just the return value. So we can use this function to check if that this is what uh, collided. So. so this will just uh, ignore any collisions that aren't between the two objects we're interested in. And now we want to change the color. So let's write a function that does that as well. I'm going to pause here a little bit because this is the change parameter uh, API, and this will work the same uh, for scripting as it would if you were to change parameters from the code in, in your app. Uh, so what we're going to be changing is the white rubber uh, game object here in the scene its uh, mesh renderer component. Uh, and if we go here, uh, the color is internally called u underscore color. Uh, so this is what we will be changing. And at the end of this, uh, this function, uh, we just need to change the color toggle value. And now we need to call this uh, function from the on collision enter. Save, save the script and this should now work. Great. Uh, another thing we uh, might want is to add a sound uh, that happens at the moment of impact. For this, we already have a prepared uh, sound effect. Uh, 
uh, the way we will play the sound is using an animation controller. So let's uh, make an animation controller on the root node. With a new state. And this state will have the sound. So we will want to use a custom trigger. Uh, to play the sound, so we can fire it off from our script. So let's uh, go to custom, and I will name it hit. And we will also return to this state when the sound is done. Uh, the sound we have is a little bit longer than it needs to be, so let's uh, make it a bit shorter. Now all we need to do from the script itself is just fire this trigger. And this is it for the basic interactivity setup.